West Coppola High School. A terrifying scene to behold. During the hours of the daylight, normal students walk these halls, but just as soon as that ninth period bell rings at 3.30, this quaint little building becomes the house of some of the most dangerous high schoolers in all of New York. Those of you actually interested in joining an extracurricular language club at this school do not know what you're in for, because those clubs are the goddamn mafia in this town. Japanese Club. They meet at 3.45 on Wednesdays. The Juicers. Italian Club. They meet at 4 p.m. sharp on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Pastafarians. Ow! But the biggest and baddest mafia in this school is the Smirnovs, the Russian language club. Their proud Russian leader strikes fear into the hearts of all that walk these halls. His name, Dmitry Ivanovsky. Gentlemen, and uh, Stephanie, today we have to prepare for the one of the most dangerous trade deals of our life. Yes, Vladimir. What are we going to do? Who are we Dude, English, please. Right, sorry. Who are we making a deal with? Glad you asked. The feud that started long ago, way beyond remembrance. Freshman year to be exact. They're here. Wait, what? What should I do, boss? Act intimidating. No Russian. Bonjour. What a lovely home. Thank you for the invitation. Greg, my brother Bagues. I told you to call me by my Russian name. Dimitri, the brother Bagues. We've prepared you a plate of your favorite things. Why does he make out scene? French kiss. Cezanne spared you, say comme vous What are you saying to me? Vlad, speak Russian! Твои ноги как у собаки воняют. Yeah! Take that! Listen here, my good friends. I mean no harm or disrespect. Where's that white flag when they need it? Perhaps we should just move on with the deal. Mm. What do you say? Da. So you speak Russian? Da. Can you say anything else in Russian? Uh, da. This is worse than Chernobyl. There it is. Feast your eyes on the glory. I hold in my hand every answer to the SAT questions on the test. Except number 15, of course. These weren't easy to obtain. We had to steal them from the Irish club. So we'd like a little respect with our payment. Did you bring the ACT answers? We are grateful for your endeavors. As compensation, we'd like to offer you these. Ho ho ho! A full year's supply worth of homework passes usable in any class, except for classes taught by Mr. Nunez at Spanish club territory. Do you dare disrespect us like this? I meant no disrespect, mon ami. All right, you listen here, you irrelevant piece of crepe. So I take it you do not want to go with the deal. Not to the likes of you, you hockeyless Canadians. Really is a shame. We don't want to have to do this, especially since we're sisters. I'm not your sister. Me neither. I was talking about Stephanie. Do it. It's those bang dudes, Portuguese clubs here to party! As I was saying, this is your latest English report, Dimitri. She snagged it from your teacher's desk. And if you vodka swigging Soviets don't play nice, I'm turning a completely plagiarized version of this to your English teacher. You wouldn't. Oh, she would. So that's how you want to play it, huh? Oh, it seems that way. Отойдите отсюда, или фурнитура кончится. Yeah.
Dark Do свидания. Well. No, cousin, I don't wanna go bowling. Gregory Ivanovsky to the principal's office. Plagiarism is a serious offense, Gregory. Or should I say, Dimitri? I'm aware of its severity, Principal Pacino. To plagiarize is to present another person's works as your own. To plagiarize someone would be the same as stealing, and although not physically, still as devastating. Seeing as it is your first offense and you're a good student, I will let you off with a warning. We must pledge to never do it again. Raise your right hand. Gregory Dmitri Ivanovsky, do you promise to never plagiarize again? I do promise. And all of your future works? They shall be original. You may go. West Capone High School. A terrifying scene to behold. Plagiarism is a serious offense, Gregory. 